Hello, hello. As you can see, the lips are moving when I'm talking and it's all live, it's nothing pre-recorded. Well, that was really easy. Okay. Hello folks, I am Marvel Master and what you see here is Unreal Engine 5.6 and me speaking live and real time into my microphone. Then I added some animations and maybe some emotions and voila, here we are. You might have seen the AI NPC video I did recently where I talked to an NPC girl in front of a tavern in a foggy environment. Core of this project were the plugins by Georgie Dev. To be precise, the runtime lip sync, runtime audio importer and runtime text to speech plugins. So today I want to explain how you can use real-time microphone lip sync and real-time text to speech using the plugins by Georgie Dev. Before we start, I have to be clear. The plugins I'm using here are not free, but for many people it will be worth the money because of easy usage, excellent documentation and how good things turned out for my project. And by the way, I had to start this video multiple times over because Georgie Dev was faster publishing updates than me creating this video. So features might have been added in time this video goes live. Oh, and before I forget, some of the plugins were sponsored by Georgie Dev for this video. At this point, I had to split the video in three parts because what was supposed to be a showcase accidentally turned out to be a tutorial of 30 minutes. So what you see here is the first part in which we get the basic lip sync with microphone working. So let's start from scratch. Let's say you will start installing Unreal Engine 5.6. When doing this, please make sure that in the options the MetaHuman Creator Core data are enabled. Once it's installed, you can start it. And for the purpose of this video, um, we are going to choose a game and a first person game. I will call it plugin tutorial and hit create. Okay, once the editor is booted up, we check if the plugins are activated. So hit edit plugins and we search for runtime audio. And we need to enable the runtime audio importer and the runtime metahuman lip sync. Then we need the runtime text to speech, which needs to be enabled. And last one is the metahuman creator. Hit yes, restart the engine and we go on. Next step is the process of creating your own metahuman. So right click on the space where you like, click on MetaHuman and create a MetaHuman character. I will call it new MetaHuman character, hit enter. Then I open it up and a few missing project settings errors appear. So I enable the missing and we are fine. Now the MetaHuman creator opened up. Then I am prompted to restart the engine, so I do it again and of course save before. Once the engine is booted up again, I will open the new MetaHuman character and create my own MetaHuman. I will skip this process here, but will link a video in the description because creating a MetaHuman is not the main point uh, of this video. We just need the character for the final result. By the way, the lip sync plugin is not limited to metahumans. Inside of the documentation, uh, there is a description how to make your own characters work with the runtime lip sync plugin. All right, everything seems to have worked. So the metahuman should be inside metahumans and my new metahuman character and I can drag him into my level. Okay, now let me hit play. And as you see, uh, nothing is happening. Um, let's start by making him talk when I talk into my microphone. So let's head over to the 
plugins documentation and we are going to do it a fast way. We want to use the runtime metahuman lip sync and how to use the plugin. And I scroll down to step one, locate and modify the face animation blueprint. We are on Unreal Engine 5.6, so I can click on this. And basically what we are doing now is uh, click on the character, then edit a new metahuman character, search for the face on the left, and for the anim class, we are looking for sync, lip sync face animation blueprint. So now you could do edits in there, but if you edit this and the plugin will get uh, an update anytime soon, your edits might be overwritten. So we are going to make a copy of this file. So let's hit this folder button to the right, minimize this window, and the editor should have browsed to the lip sync and blueprint file. Then Let's right click, duplicate, and let's call it my lip sync face animation blueprint. So now let's open this up. And now we make the lip movement with our microphone working, but let's head over to the instructions again. And we can basically skip all this and just looking for what we are doing here at step three. And here I want to use the microphone real time input. So I click on it, scroll down a bit. And here is a little button that says copyable notes, which is very handy because when you click on it, you will be redirected to blueprintue.com. And here you can scroll down a bit and here is a copy button which will just copy all the nodes you need. And when you minimize this window again and go inside of your animation blueprint again, you can just hit Control and V and all nodes you need have been pasted. Now let's hit compile. And as you see, there are a few errors. That's just because of the missing variables. So just right click on the gray variables here Visame generator, right click and create variable. And same goes for capturable sound wave, right click and create variable. Then let's hit compile again and all errors are gone. Now the next step, as the documentation says, go into your enum graph and create a node setup. So let's go into the enum graph on the left. So this should be looking something like this. I don't use the arc kit or the uh, life link stuff here, so I just ignore it. What I need is the use cached pose, body pose. And from here, I drag a pin out and type lip sync and select Blend Runtime MetaHuman Lip Sync. And from the Vicemi generator, I drag out the pin and just type get Vicemi generator. Because this is the variable we just created with the pasted nodes here. Then, when I have the three nodes, I just connect the output to the end of the node graph here. Just hit compile, save, and let's try a flip sync with just a microphone works. Hit play. Hello, 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 can you hear me? As you see, nothing is happening. So let's open the animation blueprint again. And one problem could be that the input device is wrong. So for me, I have two microphones. So I have to set the capture device to ID one, which is my um, good microphone. So I set it to one. It might be zero for you or even two. Just test it, hit compile and save. 
minimize it again. Let's try again. Hello, hello, is anything happening? As you see, still nothing happening. So the next thing we did not do is click on the character, edit its blueprint again, select the face and select the right anim class. Because at the beginning I selected the main file from the plugin, but as you remember, we made a copy of this. So I search for lip sync and I select my new lip sync face animation blueprint. So select this, hit compile, save, close it. And now hopefully when I hit play, it should work. Hello, hello. As you can see, the lips are moving when I'm talking and it's all live. It's nothing pre-recorded. Well, that was really easy. Okay. And the last thing I want to show you here again in the animation graph of the animation blueprint are the settings for the lip sync. So when I click on it, we have two settings, the interpolation speed. It controls how quickly the lip movements transition between positions. So higher values result in faster, more abrupt transitions. And the reset time is the durations and seconds after which the lip sync is reset. This is useful to prevent the lip sync from continuing after all you have stopped. All right, this was the first part where we made lip sync with microphone input working. Head on to the next part if you want to know how to use lip sync with pre-recorded microphone audio or text-to-speech. And don't forget to check the last part if you want to know how to combine everything with body and face animations. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And see you next time. Bye.